You know, if you keep staring at your phone like that, it's gonna melt your brain or something. <laughs> Not that I would mind. Then, at least I wouldn't have to hear you talk so much. <laughs> uh huh. Whatever helps you sleep at night, I guess. Just because you're barely tolerable, it doesn't mean that I want to listen to you non stop. I swear, sometimes, you're like an overgrown puppy. <laughs> Too much energy for your own good. And, honestly, if I had any sense, I would kick you out right now and get some actual peace and quiet in here. <laughs> I would be bored out of my mind. You've got a pretty high opinion of yourself, don't you? I mean, maybe I would consider letting you stick around. You know, purely because I'm feeling so charitable today. <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe I do like having someone around who's... Dumb enough to keep up with my nonsense. It's hard work finding someone this dedicated. But... <laughs> don't get too full of yourself, okay? I can always replace you with my cat. <laughs> At least he's quiet and doesn't make dumb jokes like you. Well, I mean, probably. <laughs> I think he might actually like you more than I do. He's definitely less of a hassle, though. He doesn't text me at all hours with dull memes or randomly show up at my door wanting to hang out. Seriously, what's with that? Haven't you got better things to do? Your top priority? <laughs> Because you really don't have a life, huh? I mean, it's not my fault. I'm so irresistible, right? Must be a rough life, being stuck as my sidekick. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I am definitely not sidekick material. If anything, I'm... The mysterious main character, and you're the goofy best friend. <laughs> it's like the law of the universe, basically. But hey, if you want to stick around and boost my ego, <laughs> who am I to complain? What's got you so distracted, anyways? <laughs> You've been glued to that thing the whole time. Or are you just too shy to admit that you're completely mesmerized by my charm? <laughs> Come on, spill it. What's so fascinating on your phone, huh? Oh, don't play coy with me. You've been sneaking little glances at that screen like it's something top secret. <laughs> Do I need to get out my detective hat or something? Or... Is it something that you're too embarrassed to show me? Fine, fine. Keep your little secrets then. Just know that if you found someone funnier than me, I'll definitely be mildly offended, okay? <laughs> Not that you could anyway. It'd be like physically impossible. <laughs> You're stuck with me anyways. I would probably just haunt you if you try to ditch me. Guess you're not the worst, though. I'd rather put up with your dumb jokes than anyone else's, I guess. So, uh, tell me. Other than being my personal entertainment today, what's new in your exciting little world? <laughs> Any scandals or deep, dark secrets that you've been hiding from me?
Uh, you know me. I'm an open book. <laughs> or at least the back cover of a book. I like to keep some mystery alive. Otherwise, what would keep you coming back? <laughs> fine, fine. You want a fun fact? Mm. I once spent a whole month listening to nothing but death metal at full volume just to annoy my neighbor. <laughs> it worked like a charm, by the way. But come on. Tell me you don't get tempted to be a menace sometimes. Life's way more interesting when you're a little unpredictable. But, alright. Your turn now. Give me something juicy. Or are you as boring as I suspected? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe you're not completely hopeless after all. Oh. Please, you would be lost without me, admitted. I'm like your only source of coolness in this entire universe. <laughs> but hey, if I'm stuck babysitting you, at least you're kind of entertaining. Hey, you ever think about what you'd be doing if we had never met? Like... Where you'd be without my stellar influence? <laughs> Lost? <laughs> Obviously. Honestly, though, it's kind of weird to think about. How, like, people just sort of end up in each other's lives randomly. Guess I would have to deal with someone else's dumb jokes. <laughs> Not that anyone could actually replace your brand of stupidity. <laughs> I swear, you're so full of yourself. But, yeah. I guess I would miss you. It's not like there's anyone else who'd put up with me anyway. Um, I don't know about that. Not everyone gets my style. Guess it's just easier hanging out with someone who doesn't expect me to be anything else. So, yeah. Don't go getting any ideas about ditching me, alright? <laughs> Good. And honestly, it's kind of nice, you know, not having to pretend with you. I mean, who else can I be this honest with? I like to be myself, and I feel like around you, I'll never get judged for that. <laughs> Even if I tease you or pick on you a lot. You know that I still care about you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry for getting all cringy like this, but it's something that has been on my mind lately. And I really wanted to tell you. Yeah, well. You already know the deal with me. When we're at school, people don't exactly like me a lot. And I spend a lot of the time alone. But ever since we became friends, I'm glad that I could have you by my side and... I don't have to be alone anymore. Although, not that I hated it. I don't mind 
being alone, but sometimes, you know, it always feels good to have someone by my side, or at least having the certainty that if I ever need someone, I'll have someone to go to. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, right? Yeah. I'm aware that you were also quite a loner before we met, but everything's much better now, right? You're not lonely anymore, and people didn't really pick on you because they're scared of me. <laughs> yeah. Even if people think that we're weird or or freaks, or whatever, that doesn't matter, you know? Nothing if what they call us, or what they do to us, none of that ever bothers me, because I know that we have each other, and we support each other through all of it, right? Even if we don't really talk about it. That's why I kind of wanted to bring this up, and talk about it openly with you once and for all. I like to have this kind of conversations, even if it doesn't seem like that. I know that I can seem very closed off at times, but sometimes it's good to talk about our feelings and share them with each other, right? I know that people at school, they're very mean to you and, well, also to me, but not as much. I know that they can hurt you a lot, but I want you to know that we will always be together and none of that matters at all. It doesn't really matter to me and... I hope it doesn't to you. I hope that none of those things ever get to you. Because I'll always be here to remind you that we're not weird. We're not freaks. And even if we actually are, then what's the matter with that, right? Like, who cares? No matter what. People say, we have each other and that's much more than a lot of people have. It's more than enough to me, at least. Going to class with you and spending the day with you, even if I make fun of you all the time and I tease you all the time, you know that it's all in light fun. And I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate your company. As a friend, of course. I've never really had many friends before. And unfortunately, I think that's the case for you too. So I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you this. No, no, I mean, it's nothing much, just that I, I really wanted to know that I appreciate you a lot, behind all the jokes and all the teasing, there's always gonna be a friend in me for you, somebody who cares about you and Whenever you have a problem or anything that might come up, I want you to think of me as someone who you can always run to for comfort or even if just to rant, <laughs> anything, or to spend the afternoon like we're doing right now. <laughs> Was that too cringy? 
<laughs> I guess you had never really seen me like this, right? Yeah, well, we've been friends for a long time, but I don't think I had ever had this kind of talk with you. <laughs> it's okay, you'll get used to it. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes, you know, it's always good to reassure your friends, right? <laughs> I think today I was pretty mean to you, <laughs> so I just want to make sure that you're aware of everything, yeah, of how I'm feeling towards you, how, well, what I already said, that uh, I care about you and I love you and I would never hurt you intentionally, and... What? What did I say? I mean, of course I will never hurt you intentionally. Every joke that I make at your expense is just... No, oh, not, not that. I... I care about you. Yeah, I do. What else did I say? I... I don't think I said that. <laughs> Are you perhaps projecting onto me right now? <laughs> Are you in love with me or what? <laughs> it's okay, you can tell me. What? I didn't say anything. You're just making things up right now. <laughs> You're projecting so hard. <laughs> You're so in love with me, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. Of course I didn't say that. Why would I ever say that? I said that. I care about you, and I don't want to hurt you. Well, whatever you say, sure. I already know that you love me so much anyways. You don't have to tell me, okay? Mm hmm? You don't? <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> Who are you trying to convince here? Yourself? <laughs> I know you love me, that's okay. I mean, who wouldn't love me, right? I'm just so lovable. <laughs> what? You're so annoying, you know that, right? <laughs> just let it go, okay? I literally never said that. Well, I'm not gonna deny it, but I don't think I would ever say that to you. You think I would? <laughs> you are so brave, you know that, right? Talking to me like this? You really want me that bad, huh? <laughs> I can see right through you. What? I'm teasing you too much? Well, you brought this onto yourself. I'm not gonna stop now. <laughs> I think that you have a little crush on me. That you've never told me about, but... It's just so obvious. <laughs> I can see it from a mile away. You think I couldn't tell? <laughs> you are so cute. What? You want me to stop teasing you so bad? <laughs> you want it that bad? 
You're no fun. You really don't like this? Come on. <laughs> I love teasing you like this. You really don't have a little crutch on me? <laughs> Not even a little, little, tiny, small one? <laughs> I'm so sure that you do. Not even if I get a little close to you like this? <laughs> Where are you going? Don't run away now. Come on. Weren't you so brave just a minute ago? <laughs> Come here. What? Tell me again. You really don't have a crush on me at all? You don't like me at all? <laughs> You're so cute when you blush, you know that? Not even if I get a little bit closer. <laughs> You're just too cute. Come on, baby. We both know that you want this. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you know. I could tell from a long time ago. So, just lay back and let me give it to you once and for all, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good boy.